Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. The most common illness in the water that you can get camping, hiking, fishing, swimming is... We're going to do it right now. Giardia lamblia. Giardia. That is the one. That is the most common intestinal illness you're going to get in the outdoors. In the United States, it's about 3 to 7%. Uh, in third world countries, it's up to 30%. Uh, that protozoa is the one that's going to kick your butt literally. So... If you're lost in the woods, you're hiking, backpacking, hunting, it doesn't matter. In three to four days, you have to have water. Everyone says three days, you can go a little further, but that also is dependent on your age, any comorbidity, do you have other illnesses, and so on and so forth. If you're in that situation, drink the water. If you have no way to boil it, filtrate it, just go ahead and drink it. Because the incubation period on Giardia is about one to two weeks Average is about 9 to 12 days. I have seen it go longer, but on average, 9 to 12 days before you are symptomatic. So, very important to drink the water so you don't die of dehydration. So, Giardia is very common in lakes, streams, all over North America. There is no clean water anywhere in North America. And... There are individuals out there on YouTube who are bushcrafters, who are into the hiking and backpacking that are giving gross misinformation. They're saying, hey, if it's a running stream, you can drink the water. Not true. And I'm here to tell you, the organism Giardia lives better in a cool running stream than a placid warm lake. Giardia thrives better in cool water. So you have a, you're in Colorado, you're in Montana, you're in Yosemite, and a nice cool mountain stream coming down there, you think it's safe to drink? Not true. So get you a Catadine B free, get you a grail, get something that you can filtrate that water out of. So what are we looking at when it comes to this uh, illness of Giardia? What we're looking at is as protozoa, which is really funky looking. It actually attacks like uh, attaches like suction cups to your small intestine. And it has these little flagella that flip around to actually give it stability. And you will get some intense bloating. You will get intense gas. You will a lot of gas and a lot of diarrhea up to three to six times a day. When I examine someone and I listen to their belly with my stethoscope, it actually sounds like a symphony. You actually get all kinds of noise going on down there. And the person is very, very uncomfortable. They'll get very fatigued, they'll get cramping, and it's and the stool, the stool is if if the incredible hulk had a bowel movement, I'm here to tell you that's what it's gonna look like. You ready for this? It's gonna be green and greasy. The two G's, yum yum, right? Pretty disgusting, but it is. It's green, greasy, and ugly. So that is Giardia. And so pay attention to that. Pay attention to your symptoms. Prevention, boil. Boil your water, filtrate it. Um, the Catadide Be Free, the Sawyer Mini Squeeze, or the Sawyer Squeeze, you can attach it onto a water bottle. The Grail, which is awesome because it just gets rid of viruses also. All of those work excellent against Giardia. Um, treatment. So there's plenty of medications available. Flagyl or metrodiazole was the number one go-to antibiotic. However, in the last five to six years, there's a lot of resistance to metrodiazole. So they've come up with some other really good ones. One is albendazole, which is also used for... Uh, worms and different types of uh, worm, pen worms, things that you can get which are disgusting. Uh, and then the Alinea, A-L-I-N-I-A, there's another really good one. You can use that with children. So, and that one is like 80 to 90% effective against Giardia. If you have Giardia and you get symptoms without any treatment at all, most cases resolve in about six weeks. But can you imagine going through that for six weeks? four to six times a day? Do you realize 
how much fluids you have to drink of Gatorade and Pedialyte to keep yourself hydrated. If you get treated in one week, you're through, you're done. So that's Giardia in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. We'd love to hear your experiences. Not in detail, of course. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind. I'll see you next time.